So there are actually three different equivalent definitions of independent. If you have one, you have the other two. If you don't have one, you don't have the other two. So the first one is the one I just said. The probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. The second one is the probability of A given B equals the probability of A. So, for example, if I know I just flipped ahead, that tells me nothing about what the roll of the die is going to be if I now roll a die. So the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A here. If B is flipping ahead and A is, say, rolling a 6, then the probability of rolling a 6 after knowing that you just tossed ahead is the same as just the probability of rolling a 6 because tossing ahead doesn't give you any information. This is symmetric, so we can also say that the probability of B given A is equal to the probability of B. So if we know that we had rolled a 6 when we rolled that die, then that gives us no information about whether the coin landed heads or tails. So that's why probability of B given A is equal to the probability of B. If any of these three are true, then all of them are true and the events A and B are independent. So independence implies knowledge that one occurred does not change the probability that the other will occur. That's kind of the general way of stating it, but without doing the calculation you can't be sure that they're independent. So here's an example. Let's suppose that out of 195 students who transferred from the community college last year, 112 took elementary statistics. 113 of the transferring students were women and there were 78 women transferring students who took elementary statistics. That's a lot to talk about it. The question is, are the events women and took elementary statistics independent for transferring students. So let's talk about this one little piece at a time. We get to choose any of those three equations to check to see if they're true. But I'm going to first say the probability that somebody chosen at random took elementary statistics. Well, there were 112 people who took elementary statistics out of 195 total people and people being transfer students. So that's 112 divided by 195, and I put that in my calculator, I got about 0 0.574. On the other hand, if we look at the probability that somebody took elementary statistics, given that the person is a woman, so now we're restricting our population to only women because we know that that person is a woman. Well, we know that there were 113 women who were these transfer students. So that's the denominator. That's the new sample space because I'm given the person is a woman. That changes the sample space to being a sample size of 113. Of those 113 women, 78 took elementary statistics. So the probability that somebody took statistics, given that they were a woman, is 78 divided by 113. And I put that in my calculator, and I got that that was about 0 0.690. Now notice that 0 0.574 is not equal to 0 0.690. In other words, we can say that the probability of A is not equal to the probability of A given B. So that taking statistics and being a woman are dependent events. Okay, they are not independent, so we say they are dependent.